upon a time in Corredor, your graphic design process is slow. Or maybe you find it difficult to pan easily around your canvas in Corredor. Or you may be having difficulties selecting complex objects. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you four basic tips to boost faster your graphic design process in Corredor. So without no further ado, shall we get started? Back into Corridor. To illustrate the first few tips, I have a previous Corridor document open from a previous video I did in Corridor. For tip number one, the pick tool is involved. The pick tool enables you to select objects, position those objects, and then transform the object. The ability to select objects in a rectangular path is a very good feature in Corridor, but sometimes when you have a junky design, you may need to select objects in a free part. To quickly illustrate that, I'll click and hold on the pick tool, go over to freehand pick. For the freehand pick, whatever object is in a selected drawn part is going to be selected. To illustrate that, I will want to select this yellow triangle, the purple cycle, this purple cycle also, and then the purple triangle. To do that, I will click and start drawing from outside my canvas. So Click in and start to draw from outside my canvas. I'll go over this cycle, call around this part, and then whatsoever that is in the drawn part will be selected. So letting go of the left click button right now, I have those objects selected. So that is tip number one. For tip number two, sometimes you may want to select an object in your design and you don't have the ability to select that because you're selecting an object behind the particular object you want to select in your design. For example, I want to select this 60 or with a cycle around it, but trying to select that, I will click and drag. I'm clicking and dragging my background out of my canvas, which is not what I want. For tip number two, to select this object, what you have to do is click and drag outside your canvas, holding on the right click, drag the selected part onto the part where you want every object to be selected in your design. And then there you have it. So I have this part selected. And just like a bonus for tip number two, to select all objects in your canvas, you press on Ctrl A as the shortcut. But another way to do that is double clicking on the pick tool and then all object is selected in your canvas. Tip number three, the pan tool. The pan tool, as its name inscribed, enables you the ability to pan around your design without zooming in and out in Corridor. This is a very handy tool for those who use an optical mouse to crop out image in Corridor. To find the pan tool, I'll go over to the zoom tool, click and hold, and then find pan from the drop down menu. Or press on the shortcut key H. And then I have the pan tool activated. With the pan tool activated, I can pan around my design easily without having to zoom in and out to find a particular position. For the fourth tip, which is one of my favorites, is copying properties. And to illustrate that, I'll be using these two texts, get creatively inspired to do that. The copy property enables you the ability to copy a fill color an outline color or an outline size or even a text property from a different text or a different object respectively. In my own case, for this example, I want to copy the text property from the text get creatively onto the text inspired. To do this, I'll select the text inspired, go over to edit on the menu bar and then go over to copy properties from. I have my text properties selected. So I'll click on OK. So as you can see, my cursor have changed to a arrowhead pointing right. So clicking on the text gets creatively. As we can see, our text property has been copied. Similarly, same way I could copy the color and the outline size and also the outline color. So to achieve this also, I'll click on the text inspired, go over to edit, go over to copy properties from and then check on outline pen, check on outline color, and then check on fill. The outline pen copies the outline size, and then the outline color copies the outline color, 
and then the fill copies the gradient fill I have on get creatively text. So when I click on OK, as we can see, the cursor have changed to an arrowhead pointing right. So if I click on the text, get creatively, our color and the outline has been copied. So if I should give this text a shadow effect, we'll be able to see the outline copied too. So this is a very great feature in Corridor to be able to copy properties from text, object, and so on. And basically, we've come to the end of this video. Just as a quick recap, number one, the free hand pick helps you select objects in a fully drawn part. Number two, the free hand selection. Number three, the pan tool, which helps you pan around your canvas in your design. And number four, which is the copy properties from tab, which helps when you want to copy text properties, color properties, and outline color properties from a particular given element. And just as a bonus tip, when you double click on the pick tool, you get to select all objects in your canvas if you don't want to use the shortcut Ctrl A. And with that being said, if you like this video, do make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. You don't want to miss upcoming videos. Do stay creatively inspired and I will see you in my next video.